It is a women's 115 pound matchup between Paige Van Zandt and Cynthia Calvillo. Well, from the moment she stepped foot in the octagon at UFC 209, Cynthia Calvillo has made her presence felt. Lost a couple years of her prime due to a broken forearm, broken three times in the same place. But once she made her pro debut in 2016, it has been all systems go. She had five fights in a span of nine months, won all of them. She has been a real threat at strawweight. Cynthia Calvillo believes the ceiling is UFC championship. This girl has a ridiculous chin. Her ability to take punishment is the stuff of legends. I have seen her take bombs and barely wins. She presses forward, and because of the fact that she has this incredible chin, she is able to stay in the pocket and land strikes on her opponent that maybe other fighters would never be able to get off. This girl is so good at taking fighters to the ground from the clinch. She has a full arsenal of takedowns and throws from the clinch. Tying up with her is a dangerous proposition. Our tail of the tape for this strawweight fight. So a more than five-year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with the same height and a similar reach. We send it inside the octagon, we find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the USC Strawweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a mixed martial artist holding a professional record on seven wins, one loss. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Finally got a shot from Metro, California, Cynthia Camilo. And now we're producing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of seven wins, three losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Finally got a shot from Metro, California, well, Cage, Cage, You've been given your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. We are ready to go with round one here. All right, so we get another look tonight at the young strawweight contender, Paige Van Zandt. She's a well-rounded fighter, does everything pretty well, plus finishing skills, both in terms of her knockouts and her submissions. Freestyle fighter representing Team Alpha Male in Sacramento, California. Wow! All right, here we go. First round is underway. You know about her jiu-jitsu game. She is a submission specialist, so you don't want to hang out on the feet here for too long. She's got to go for the early takedown. Let's see how quickly she tries to change up this one and get this fight down to the canvas. Double underhooks now in the clinch. We'll see what she can do with it. She gets to her back. It looks like she grabbed a choke here. That is just an amazing technique. Getting tighter. Great 
job in establishing that submission. Well, Joe can't say we're all that surprised, right? She told us during fight week that she needed to work on her overall efficiency. She wanted to get this fight to the ground early and often. That is exactly what she did. And maybe the submission win came even earlier than she expected it to, but a near-perfect performance out of this young woman here tonight. Let's see it one more time. Got the arm in deep under the neck, locked in tight and it's over before they even get a chance to tap. And let's see that again. So there she is, your winner by way of submission. A huge result for her here tonight. And you gotta think that'll mute some of the naysayers she had coming in. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 59 seconds in the very first round. For the winner by submission, Cynthia. So there she is following what could be argued as the biggest win of her career. She gets it done by submission here tonight. She told us during fight week, Joe, I got to keep the judges out of it. She certainly did just that. Now all that's left to do is to celebrate with her coaches and her training partners. She had a lot of friends and family in the building here tonight. And man, did she put on a show for them and maximize this UFC showcase. Congratulations.